I vow to extend the type of love that doesn't give up. So if whole times get long, won't be no hanging up. So we all in from the beginning. We won't need a prenup. Now we up high on cloud nine with no eye cloud to back us up. And when I say I'm all in, that's with no if, ands, or buts. No terms or conditions. You can skip the fine print and let your insurance lapse. There's no protection against accident. Even if we knows diving off cliffs without our safety net, or we're full speed ahead, with no anti-lock brakes. All or nothing type of love. If that's the mindset it takes, no protection will be used when we consummate. Cause what God puts together, let no earthly thing separate. We'll renew our vows every year like we're celebrating birthdays. Then, till death do us part, or at least that's what we'll say. But I vow to love you for a lifetime, then into the next. So we go together in heaven, we'll call it life after death. I'll meet your needs before you ask, send reminders to myself for richer or poorer in sickness and in health. I vow to extend the type of love that doesn't give up. So when faced with complicated problems, we'll simply do our homework. But we won't be divided, multiplied, or broken up. And holding on can be painful. So I vow to love even when it hurts. The only thing comparable is Christ's love for the church. My answer is I do when they ask if you the one. I'll study the pages of your love languages so I can communicate it in every tongue. Watch me demonstrate the type of love that goes above and beyond. Beyond my fears and your faults, beyond our wildest dreams and any altar, I vow to extend the type of love that doesn't give up no matter what. To my beautiful bride, my best friend, my gift from God, Kathy. When I met you, my life changed. You are everything that I could have hoped for and everything that I didn't know I needed. Your spirit, your tenacity, your character make me proud to stand on the tallest mountain and shout for everyone to hear. That's my wife, and I'm her husband. I once heard someone say, a good woman will make you be who you say you are. And by that standard, <laughs> and by that standard, my wife is not only good, but great. I thank God for you. I want to make it crystal clear to everyone under the sound of my voice that I will lay down my life for this woman. I promise to always be in a learning posture when it comes to learning how to love you better. I will never forsake you. To Ashton, you are an amazing young lady. I promise to always protect you, listen to you, and encourage you. I promise to love you unconditionally. You are my daughter, and I'm so happy. And now you have two dads. There is no stepdad, there is no stepdaughter. The only steps are those where we would take holding hands together as a family.
I'm just grateful that that you came into my life like a rushing wind and showed me and every extension of me what a man's affection and protection and love sacrificially are supposed to look like. And this is the first season of my life that I trusted God fully in the area of love. And this is the first time that he showed me how he sees me through somebody else's eyes. And I thank you for loving me like God loves me, not just unconditionally, but from a place of correction or discipline or leadership or self-reflection so that you can push me to be my best self. Through our preparation for this journey, we know it won't be easy, but you always say like you only want to be married once. <laughs> And I believe that our willingness and our desire, regardless of what we may face, will help us get to the end. So I love you. I'm honored to take your name. It is my honor to pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Rodney and Kathy Tobert. You may kiss your bride.